Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Dark Red, issue number two. You know, to say the very least, this has some of the most clever covers on comic books today. I'm just saying. I'm just going to point that out there. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put this here. All right, actually, I'm not because I got to read who uh, made the book. And after we finish talking about who made the book, well, we'll probably talk about if it sucks or not. I mean, it is a vampire story, so it's sucking could actually be a good thing. Let's get to that in a minute. Uh, Fly Over States uh, is the name of this issue. Tim Seeley is the co-creator and writer. The, co the other co-creator and artist is Corin Howell. Mark Englert is the colorist. And uh, Marshall Dillon, uh, excuse me, just Dillon, is the letterer and the logo designer. You can tell that I do these uh, one take, right? The cover is done by Aaron Campbell. And uh, this is Aftershock Comics. So Chip is hanging out with this girl, this blondie, and she's like, hi. And they start having a conversation. It practically goes nowhere. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure this stuff that's going to lead to more stuff in the future. Uh, at the end of the day, though, she's just there to deliver him to uh, her boss, basically. And her boss is there trying to make a deal with him. And this, um, this deal is extremely interesting, you have to remember from the previous issue, Chip is indeed a racist, all right? That being said, <laughs> can can it get too bad for your average racist? Is there a limit to someone's racism to where the to the point where they realize, wait a second, this is racist because there's a lot of racists out there who are going to be like, oh, I'm not racist. I just think that that, you know, these color people should go over there and my color people should be over here and we should divide it with a set of railroad tracks. That's all. <laughs> like, you know, is that racist? Yes, yes, it's racist. <laughs> but there are people who don't understand that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much Chip. Chip doesn't get it. All right. But he does have limits. And we get to see that here. If there, if nothing else, I could say this is probably one of the, well, besides the, the idea that the covers are really fun. Honestly, this comic book, man, like this issue, the previous issue, really great issues. When you read, when you finish reading this comic book and you see what the next issue is going to be about, I think that we're delving into the territory of becoming from a good comic to a good story. If you're not entirely familiar with what I mean by that, because you're like, you know, fairly new to comics or you don't understand my thought uh, analysis on comics, you'll understand. Read the comic book. Buy the comic book. All right? In fact, you know what? You know what? Listen. You and me, we know each other for a little while, right? Look, look, look. I'm going to put all the, the facade aside. I'm just, it's just me. It's just me. It's just you. Ain't nobody else watching. This is a private video. You found the link somehow. And I'm just talking to you directly, okay? Check this out. This comic book right here, here's what you're going to do. This, this uh, Wednesday, you're going to go to the comic book store. Maybe you're going to have to miss it because you know what? Upcoming this Saturday, free comic book day. That's right. Free comic book day. So you got to go to the comic book store anyway, right? Got to get that first dibs. You're going to walk into the comic book store. And while you're getting your free comics or whatever, you're going to be like, hey, listen, boss, you know, to, to somebody in charge of the comic book store. Listen, got any more issues that dark red issue one, issue two? What do you have for me? What do you have for me? I'm going to say there's about a 50-50 chance that you will find that comic book there. Now, if they do say, yes, we have a couple copies of each, buy them out. No, I'm serious, dude. Straight buy them out. Because look, look, there's some comic books that you see, you read, and all of a sudden you're like, dude, this is going to wind up becoming a freaking Netflix series or a Hulu series or an Amazon Prime series or a shut up and go buy the freaking comic book series. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm doing you a favor. I'm doing you a solid. All right? Look, 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 look. Let's just say you'll owe me one. Okay? One of these days, I may or may not come to you, okay? And I may ask for a favor, all right? You're going to repay me for me doing you this solace. You're going to go and you're going to get this comic book and you get a whole bunch of them. And then when it does go to whatever TV series or whatever that's, that's supposed to eventually go to, possibly even a movie, but maybe a TV series, when this happens, you will be able to pull out these first edition prints, huh? You're going to be like, eh, hey, check it out, yeah, 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 check it out, look at it, look at it, look at it, look You see this guy in the back? You know what it doesn't say there? Soon to be a Netflix series, or now on Netflix, that's right. Because when it goes to like fourth, fifth print, because that's what happens, yeah. You'll be like, look, they didn't even know this was going to be a Netflix series. Except for one guy knew. And you will owe me a favor, or there will be a horse's head in your bed. Y'all know which movie I'm talking about, right? Anyway, guys, you're welcome. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.